It's a beautiful thing about the internet. The flip side of that is if you are good, we're going to see it, we're going to like it, we're going to share it, we're going to comment on it, we're going to spread it, and it will go viral. And rather than coming to a show like this and begging somebody, hey, how do I get on your team? One day your phone's going to ring, and somebody's going to say, hey, we'd love for you to do some work for us, and we're going to pay you. You want to be an educator? Educate. It's that zest that she go, no, she must flow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bars, straight bars. If y'all didn't make it to the Las Vegas Expo, man, y'all missed some nuggets that were dropped. That's Ivan Zoot right there, man. Straight motivation. Getting right to it. This haircut is a transformation with enhancements added. Drop fade. I guess you could say wavelength number one on top. Close with the grain. While you guys are here watching, please like, share, subscribe repost replay tag me tweet me anything i'm here for y'all any questions comments i'm right here and it's number one close i'm smoothing this thing out just getting it nice and even and i'm setting my guideline and it's super zr2s with the oa blade some people call it a half I like to use it for doing my light fades. It's in between the zero and the one. Just making sure that my guidelines are equal and even all the way around. Next, I go up about two inches with the one and a half blade. And I'm making sure that it's equal and even all the way through. Now I have my Anders Masters open and I'm hitting at that line closing it about halfway and then all the way with a little level lever play in the in between just cleaning up making sure that I'm removing any lines or any shadows that I might see dark spots doing the same thing in the back I'm excited this video came out pretty dope especially once you put the enhancements in there and it really makes it pop you guys stay tuned so you can see it I'm just doing the same thing that I did on the right side same previous steps no guard all the way open halfway so now this is the purple zero uh, guard for the Andes Masters and I usually start off halfway. Really, once I fade this line out, it's it, most of the work is gonna be done. Taking off that guard, because I saw a spot that was missed that could have been cleaned up. Just making sure that you are, are being thorough in your work. So this is my Andes Master number one. I'm just smoothing out that area that I left. I actually left it on purpose just to, for saving time. And it's, so I start off halfway. Halfway and then I'll close it up. And the top should be blended with it, with the sides at that point. Not too much more work. Just brushing as I go. Making sure that the hair is laying down cutting against the grain just straight fading you guys I'm excited to bring out new content for you guys this is something new for me so I'm trying to get used to being in a room talking to myself <laughs> I guess I'm talking to you guys whoever's watching my YouTube subscribers so I start off the edge up in the middle, working left to right. In this case, I took it straight to the left. And these are my hitters right here, my Andes Corliss corded T outliners with the gold Babylon's blade. Same one I used in my previous video. I love them because they're they're sharper than my my other um, the corded ones. Corded ones aren't zero gap. 
I just I use them just to put the line in there and I come back behind that and clean that line up make sure it pops just tapping motion sliding and tapping not pushing too hard you don't want to scar your customer up your client he doesn't want to be pulling away his uh, peeling away his his edge up in three days as I work, brushing down that edge up, cracking jokes. <laughs> so right here, I'm just cleaning up the haircut. Since I didn't want to take it lower, he's going to start working on waves, so that's why I went with the number one close. And I'm just smoothing it out, giving it that nice, even, precise look, the overall finish. And these right here are my secret weapons, the enhancements, the fiber factor, you can buy it off of eBay. You can get a hundred grams for like 16 bucks versus you go with topic. You might get 20 grams for $30. These things are good. What I like to do, you'll see me grab the air compressor cord. They're, they work so well that you can blow them and it's not going to just blow off like topic does. And this is motions holding spritz just to kind of seal it in. I saw a spot that I needed to blow off and fill in right here. Now this is another secret weapon, the Dyson Diffuser. I like it because it hardens the hair, it stiffens it, it gives it the heat without blowing it. You won't blow any of the fibers off or anything like that. And right now, coming through just detailing. Cleaning up where I put the enhancements at and really getting that edge up to pop well folks that's my time there's going to be a lot more content like this and even better coming to you soon i'm starting up a new series called is it worth it where i'll be showing you the newest things that i purchased on the market and letting you know whether you should spend your money or not thanks and god bless